hello guys welcome to this video so it was very simple with the previous video we just learned how to make a controller and how to make a model and how to just uh, create a route for our uh, controllers and use the method and inside the method inside the controller how to pass a variable a data to our view uh, in this video we will we will uh, just practice the previous uh, things that we have learned and it's uh, a new thing working with the model so because our post table is still uh, empty so i'll go with the uh, users table first we have to create a new uh, nav link here to go uh, to find the users to list the users so i'll come to our sidebar and copy this one this nav link from here put it here and the route should be user and the, if route is user so make it active and there the title should be written users and with that said we have to create the view user so coming to the view section here clicking on the view and uh, creating a folder to manage it easily I, i'm doing this one uh, creating a folder for our user section users and inside the users I'll just say uh, create a new file user dot blade dot php because uh, we could create this user dot blade without any folder but that was like uh, uh, not much organized that's why I'm using this one and the same again it should look like our uh, post file our post view so i'll copy contents of the post.play.php here as well and the title should be coming from the control so users and yeah and because we don't have yet the from controller so i'll just write uh, users here let's see for the dashboard what we get okay that's fine now uh, uh, defining route for our user uh, because we have mentioned that here we should define this route as well so i'll come here and before going to the route i'll create a user controller uh, and user model is already created already here uh, so i only need to create a user uh, more uh, controller so i'll just open the command line and php make controller and instead of post controller i'll just write user controller the resource folder and just close this one coming to controller user controller and inside the index folder here i'll use the uh, user model which is this one so first i have to include this model here how to include let's say use app slash models slash user that is it and here we have different methods to fetch the data from and it is laravel it is very easy we can just say a user let's say just uh, uh, let's put it in a variable users equal user model colon uh, colon and inside it let's say get all the data from user table so if we return this user return users we can see that all the users uh, will be returned to us now how to get this one let's go uh, to our web and create a route something like this to get access to that one. without because without route we cannot access that controller get if someone uh, asks for the uh, request for the user so you should have to go to user controller class and then uh, go to the index method of that and this should be a middleware this should be passed through middleware and the route name is user as let's see what is wrong again okay here i forgot to put a comma here let's say now it is fine if somebody writes here user 
just user and it should get okay it's a target user controller does not exist because we have not included here i'll copy this post controller and just change the uh, post to user save it and come here again you can see that we got the uh, all the users inside our database we now we only have one user so we get one record this is because inside the user controller we just said that users all and then we return this and it is returning a raw data instead of the view now it's time to um, pass this to our view so we just say that uh, return view which view user dot user you can see that inside our view views we have the users folder so we first need to put the users folder name then the blade file inside that and the blade file is just user uh, along with that we need to pass the data as well so the data is users and users and this will uh, get the data to our uh, view file now this time if i refresh we get the users view and the data is uh, the data is here but we cannot see because we have not uh, listed that data and for that we can go to user.blade and instead of welcome to the users list under this we can create a table and i will do it and just uh, i'll make it and then i'll uh, record okay here you can see that our uh, i've created a table inside the body section and i just need the id of the user and the name of the user so we have passed the data from the controller here we need to iterate or loop for our data and that is very easy with the blade we can say for each for each we have passed the uh, the uh, uh, all the users data um, with the name users so we can use that here users as user and and the for each and for each inside this we have to put our rows tr and inside the tr we need the td the first td will be uh, the id so how can we do that put this echo blade echo uh, 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 syntax and inside this user id because id is the uh, uh, column name and the user is only one user per iteration and the second td will be name this should match the uh, a column inside the database and now if we just save it and go to the our dashboard refresh it what we get we get id one name ali if we had multiple users we could get their name as well uh, now here you go inside our user controller the thing which has done the best work is the model we just use the eloquent model to get all the uh, data from the table the same thing we will do for our posts as well and thank you very much for this video